I mean, a moment is the LGF. When I came into the LGF building, onto this very floor, and I looked into a window and saw 40 girls sat inside a room who were, some were met, obviously males, dressed as females, but I saw 40 girls and I cried my eyes out and realised that I wasn't ill. I was a trans woman and I learned at that moment to love the community that I'm a part of. I thought it was ill in the head and I thought it was sick. And I came here and realised that, and with family information out that I'm not any of those, I'm a normal human being with aspirations and desires and needs. And I think here I got taught to live again. I, I actually grew up here and became Dawn. And Dawn's flourished and thoroughly enjoying herself now. This is where you start the journey, a place like the LGF. And it saved me life, and it really did. People don't realise how much this affects people, this building and this area, and it saves lives. And even if you save one, two people, it's worth it. If, if I could ever talk to somebody who felt the way I did, which was that I felt trapped, come to the LGF and find out about who you could be. You're a human being. That's the major thing to realise, that you're as open to love and needs as the rest of us. You are not sick, you are a beautiful person. And please come to a place like this, find sanctuary and find out who you are. But just coming here, it gives you that, that freedom to be yourself. And that's, you can't, nobody can ever take that away from you ever again. The fact that you've come here and you've expressed who you are and you've become the person you should have been. I love life and I love the LGF. <laughs>